Ever wondered what makes Zanzibar a must-visit destination? Welcome to the Spice Island, a captivating blend of African, Arabian, and European influences. Tucked away in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Tanzania, Zanzibar is a stunning archipelago that boasts white sandy beaches, turquoise waters, and a rich cultural heritage. The island is a melting pot of cultures, where the old world meets the new, and where the flavors are as diverse as the people. But Zanzibar is more than just a pretty face. It's a place that tells a story, where every street, every building, every spice plantation has a tale to tell. This video is your golden ticket to the top attractions in Zanzibar, from the historic stone town to the pristine Nungwi Beach, the exotic Jozani Forest, and the aromatic spice plantations. So buckle up as we take you on an enchanting journey across Zanzibar's best attractions. First stop, Stone Town, the cultural heart of Zanzibar. Picture a place where time seems to stand still, where every narrow alleyway, carved door, and ancient building tells a story. This is Stone Town, a town that has been shaped by centuries of trade, colonization, and cultural exchange. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Stone Town is a testament to Zanzibar's diverse history and a living, breathing monument to its cultural heritage. Imagine walking through the labyrinth of narrow streets lined with buildings that are a blend of Arab, Persian, Indian, and European architectural styles. You'll notice the ornate hand-carved wooden doors, a signature feature of Stone Town's buildings. Each door is unique, often telling a story about the home's original owners. The House of Wonders, or Beit al Ajaib, is a must-see. Once the residence of Sultan Bargash bin Said, it was one of the first buildings in East Africa to have electricity and an elevator. Today it serves as a museum, offering a glimpse into Zanzibar's past. A few steps away, you'll find the old fort, also known as Ngome Kongwe. Built in the late 17th century by the Omanis, it's the oldest building in Stone Town. The fort's grounds have been repurposed as a cultural center, hosting music concerts, art exhibitions, and the famous Zanzibar International Film Festival. As the day turns into evening, make your way to the Forodani Gardens. This bustling night market is a food lover's paradise, serving a variety of local delicacies from spicy Zanzibari pizza to fresh seafood skewers. It's a perfect way to end your day dining under the stars, surrounded by the sounds of laughter and live tarab music. Stone Town is more than just a town. It's a tapestry of cultures, a symphony of historical influences, and a testament to the resilience of its people. It's a place where every stone has a story to tell, and every corner holds a new discovery. With its rich history and unique architecture, Stone Town is truly a window into Zanzibar's soul. Scene script. Next, we head north to the stunning Nungwi Beach. Picture it. A kaleidoscope of blues spanning from turquoise to deep indigo gently lapping against a canvas of pristine white sand. This is the stunning view that greets you at Nungwi Beach, a veritable slice of paradise nestled on the northern tip of Zanzibar. It's as though Mother Nature herself took a paintbrush and created a masterpiece of color and tranquility. Nungwi Beach is not just a feast for the eyes. It's also an active playground for the adventurous at heart. The clear warm waters are ideal for a myriad of water sports and activities. Imagine donning a snorkel and immersing yourself in a world beneath the waves. A bustling city of colorful coral reefs and exotic marine life. Let the currents guide you as you explore this underwater haven, each swim revealing a new spectacle of nature's beauty. For those inclined towards a deeper dive, Nungwi Beach is a diver's dream. Its crystal clear visibility and the abundance of marine biodiversity make it a fantastic spot for both beginners and seasoned divers. As you descend into the blue, witness the harmonious dance of schools of fish, the gentle sway of sea anemones, and the slow graceful movements of sea turtles. And if you prefer to stay above the waterline, fear not. Boat tours are a popular way to explore the surrounding area. Glide across the glassy surface of the ocean, feel the wind in your hair and the sun on your skin. Take in the breathtaking panorama of the coastline dotted with palm trees and traditional Dao boats. As the day draws to a close, Nungwi Beach transforms into a tranquil retreat. The setting sun paints the sky with hues of pink and orange, the perfect backdrop for a leisurely stroll along the beach. Feel the cool sand beneath your feet. Listen to the rhythmic symphony of the waves 
and let the serenity of the surroundings wash over you. Nungui Beach is the perfect spot for beach lovers and water sports enthusiasts. Now let's venture into the wild at Yozani Forest. Nestled in the heart of Zanzibar, Yozani Forest is a verdant oasis that's a world away from the sun-soaked beaches we're used to. It's the largest and last remaining indigenous forest on the island, a testament to Zanzibar's rich natural heritage. This lush and humid rainforest is more than just a collection of trees and foliage. It's a unique ecosystem, a vibrant tapestry woven with a myriad of plant and animal life. As we tread softly through the undergrowth, the forest comes alive with a symphony of sounds. The rustle of leaves, the chirping of insects, the distant call of birds, these are the melodies of the wild. And if we're lucky, we might even hear the distinctive hoot of the forest's most famous residents, the red colobus monkeys. These monkeys are a sight to behold. With their fiery red coats and tufted gray crowns, they're like the royalty of the forest. And it's not just their looks that are striking. Red colobus monkeys are known for their unique diet, which includes leaves, flowers, and even charcoal to help them digest their leafy meals. They're a testament to the forest's biodiversity, and they're found nowhere else in the world but here, in Hosani Forest. But the red colobus monkeys aren't the only stars of the show. Look closely, and you might spot bush babies, blue duikers, or even the elusive Zanzibar leopard. Each creature, each plant, each tiny insect, plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of this delicate ecosystem. Josani Forest is also home to a mangrove boardwalk that takes you above the swampy ground, offering a different perspective on this wild wonderland. Walking through this forest is like stepping into a whole new world, a place where nature reigns supreme and we are merely visitors. So, if you're a nature lover, a wildlife enthusiast, or simply someone who appreciates the beauty of the wild, Yozani Forest is a must-visit. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the wonders of nature and find a sense of peace and tranquility that's hard to come by in our fast-paced world. Yozani Forest is a must-visit for nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts. Last but not least, immerse yourself in the aromatic world of Zanzibar's spice plantations. Zanzibar, fondly referred to as the Spice Island, has a rich history steeped in the production and trade of spices. The spice trade here dates back to as far as the 16th century, with the island becoming a key stopover on the spice route between Europe and the East. Even today, spices form a significant part of Zanzibar's economy, with the island being one of the world's largest exporters of cloves. But the spice plantations of Zanzibar are not just about cloves. Venture a little deeper, and you'll find a wide variety of spices grown here. From the fiery heat of black pepper and chili, to the sweet allure of vanilla and cinnamon, the plantations are a true testament to the island's vibrant culinary culture. And it's not just about the taste. Each spice carries with it a world of medicinal and cosmetic uses, deeply embedded in the local culture and traditions. Embarking on a spice tour in Zanzibar is like stepping into a living, breathing cookbook. Here you have the opportunity to see, touch, and smell the raw ingredients that give life to the flavors we love. You'll see turmeric roots being dug from the earth, vanilla pods drying in the sun and cloves being harvested from tall trees. You might even have the chance to taste some of the exotic fruits grown alongside the spices, like the luscious jackfruit or the tangy tamarind. Imagine the sensation of crushed cardamom between your fingers, the sweet scent of freshly picked lemongrass, the sight of bright red chili peppers hanging from the plants. Each moment is a discovery, a chance to connect with the very essence of the flavors that spice up our lives. A visit to the spice plantations is an experience that engages all your senses. It's a journey that takes you beyond the confines of a typical tourist trail, offering a glimpse into the heart of Zanzibar's rich cultural and culinary heritage. It's a flavorful journey, one that leaves a lasting impression long after the taste has faded from your tongue. So why is Zanzibar a must-visit destination? Let's take a moment to recall the magical journey we've just embarked on. We started in the labyrinth of Stone Town, a UNESCO heritage site where every corner turned revealed a piece of history, culture, and architectural marvel. From there, we were whisked away to Nungwi Beach, a paradise where turquoise waters kiss pristine sandy shores, creating a picture-perfect scene that could easily be mistaken for a dream. 
Our journey didn't stop at the coastline, as we ventured into the heart of the island to explore the Hosani Forest. Here, the wild side of Zanzibar unveiled itself, with a rich array of unique flora and fauna that left us in awe. And let's not forget the aromatic spice plantations that took our senses on a flavorful journey, making us appreciate the island's spice trade heritage. From historical sites to stunning beaches, wild forests, and aromatic spice plantations, Zanzibar truly has something for everyone. So, when are you planning your visit?